Hey there, my awesome, super cool Virgos. How are you? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo, ready to do your next installment of your mini series. See what the energies are. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video if you enjoy this reading. Um, just remember, be mindful that the readings are general. So some may or may not resonate, might resonate for three straight days. And then the next day it's like, what? This isn't for me. Keep that in mind, okay? If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Um, I will be offering a discount in the month of February. So if you want to wait until February, um, a Valentine's Day discount, you can. Or just go ahead and purchase your reading. You can get it same day if it, there's availability. All right, you guys. Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the messages for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, you're starting out. Damn, you get the coffin all the time. Some of you like need that constant reminder. You're like, wait, wait, I ended this relationship. Wait, some of you get those travel, traveling thoughts where you're thinking about something or someone or you're missing someone and then you're like, like it's like, oh, wait, this thing ended. Wait, this is over. It might just be like um, for some, it's like a reminder um, because it, maybe something was habitual for some of you. Okay. Um, new beginnings are coming. There's growth and change and liberation happening since something was put to rest. Okay. That could be within you. It could be within a relationship or with somebody else. Let's take a look and see what the other energy is here. Oh, they just said some of you just got your uh, nails done. You got the coffin style or you have coffin style nails. Weird. Okay. Hand of cards. Okay. <laughs> um, somebody's not showing their hand here. Somebody might be gambling or is going to be taking a risk, being strategic. All right. Let's take a look here. Take it. Somebody's taking a chance. But they're not showing their hand what this chance is going to be. They're not revealing what this risk is going to be since something has ended here. Let's see. Um, now that's the Ace of Wands, if you can see that right here, Virgos. So this gives me a sense of um, uh, if there was rejection or a false start in the past or some kind of delay, that's like... It feels like something that's ended is now inducing or inspiring or creating an urge to have a new beginning. Okay. Oh, well, here you go. We know how it's going, Virgo. This is with your twin flame. You and this person are twin flames. Don't mind my, um, eh, my middle finger here. I broke my, I, I broke my nail. I broke my nail. Um, so twin flames, yin, yang. Zen, balance, union, duality, a coupling, complementing each other. That's what I feel like is going on here. Somebody's coming to terms with another person being their twin flame um, since something has ended. So this feels more like somebody's getting some kind of clarification about what a relationship really was and maybe why it didn't work out. It might have been like two people who needed the other to keep things going that induces growth you know soulmates are like in front of each other and there are um, two holes coming together to form you know one where twin flames are more or less two people who i know it's going to sound strange i'm just i have the image of the yin yang it's like when it's like when two dogs meet on the street <laughs> They go, they walk around in circles, sniffing out each other's butts to see what they're each made of. And they're like just making this whirlwind of like two opposites coming together, um, coupling, but they're very opposite. I feel like something's coming into balance here. Um, some of you might be like having a, a, a wake up moment, like, yeah, that was definitely a twin flame. Um, and some of you might be you know, thinking about, I, I don't know, I feel like you're keeping your, your cards close to your chest and you're not letting anybody know what your next plans are, um, whether within a relationship or out, and same thing. So, okay, endurance and patience. Wow, okay, somebody's got an energy here of trying to endure and be patient through some difficult or some trials at this time. 
Okay, because someone is still undecided. All right, somebody's got uh, undecided energy. Uh, good friends, are we friends or can we be more? Should we stay friends? Is friendship all this could be? Um, could we be friends and lovers? Um, somebody's in this position of like not saying anything, just enduring something and just trying to stay calm and figure some things out. Maybe about a relationship or about is was it a twin flame or were we just good friends? Was it soulmates? I kind of feel like there's an energy of like, hmm, what the heck is going on here? Okay, financial loss. Hmm. Okay, somebody's saying to themselves, well, if we were really meant to be, um, somebody wouldn't have caused this financial loss or or giving me like, um, oh. Oh, financial. Okay. So they're saying like somebody's got like a poverty mindset, like hard to believe that we could be more than just friends or someone is having a hard time making a decision because it feels like somebody's in this position of like, wait a minute. Um, so it's two minds I'm getting. Someone is feeling like their work and their finances are... Um, being heavily affected to, due to um, an ending of a relationship. That, that, okay, that, that actually is the strongest message that I'm getting. So in other words, somebody can't work. They're distraught. Somebody, somebody's having a hard time working. They can't work. They're feeling distraught. They're feeling confused. Um, they can't focus. They're losing money. They're not going to work. They're too obsessed or they're just... Uh, can't stop thinking about uh, somebody might be in a lot of pain um, they're not sure what to do they don't know what path to take I feel like this is similar to a reading the other day okay but luck is on somebody's side the wheel is turning though and that's why I feel like this person or somebody here is trying to just be patient about things and then keep the hope alive that they know things are going to work out eventually um, that again is a gambling card uh, taking a risk okay somebody took a gambling risk and lost a lot of money perhaps or invested money in um, uh, made some kind of financial investment and it didn't work out and they took a hit I don't know who that is oh my god you've got twin soul this is turning into a twin flame reading twin soul this is the card Twin souls, twin flame. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be. It's time to reconcile. So there's some type of reconciliation coming up here. After something has ended, somebody wants to reconcile with another person. Now you take that however you like, Virgo, but I'm going to use a different deck here. I feel like um, somebody here is wanting to take a risk. Again, take another risk because this is a true twin flame connection. Uh, somebody doesn't want to give up. Somebody's keeping a, keeping the hope somewhere. They don't know what to do, but somebody's keeping the hope that things are going to work out at some point eventually um, or that there could be a reconciliation later down the line um, and that they somebody feels like they deserve another person. Look, Eight of Pentacles, getting back to work. Okay, trying to recover what was lost, um, putting in the effort, wanting to endure and put in the effort in a relationship. Oh, damn. <laughs> Judgment. So yeah, 100% reconciliation. 100% wake up call. Somebody is having... Um, they don't feel like they made an error in judgment. I feel like somebody was confused about the nature of the connection, um, whereas someone felt like it was too much trouble, but that trouble actually induced growth. And this somebody here is feeling like, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Coming to terms, like undecided, but coming to terms with what this actually was. And judgment, this is Scorpio energy, of course, um, and we have the lovers here twice. So somebody, maybe a Gemini, connecting with a Gemini. Um, it's a friendship. It's friend. It's like coming to friends and lovers. I feel like somebody is like, okay, well, if we can't be lovers, then I'll just, just settle for friends. But at the same time, they're not sure if that's what they want. 
they're not sure if that's going to be enough. So this wake up call is happening here. This somebody is getting in this position of like, wow, wait a minute. My life's purpose is with this person. Okay. Oh my gosh, six of wands, victory. So there's an element here of like winning at, at all costs, whatever it takes, somebody's trying to win. Either they're winning back their money and also trying to win back a relationship because some type of breakup or an ending um, has induced growth and change and change could be change in the form of money. Um, it's caused a loss, but it's also recovery is what I feel like. Uh, trying to recover a loss from a loss and be in a winning position again. Okay, somebody had some kind of, um, I'm just going to say this. I don't know if it was like a gambling addiction or they're just obsessed with trying to, um, have, you know, this is like the wheel of fortune energy, uh, uh, just kept because of some kind of addiction, addiction of some sort that just caused bad luck or, or things got out of control for someone. They got stuck in a rut um, and they keep trying to get that wheel to turn and they know that it's going to, you know, sometimes, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down and now we're going back up again. This is, this person is hopeful that things, oh my gosh, is that things are going to go up again. Look at this lifestyle change with the lovers. I feel um, somebody's coming in here, rushing in, you know, to have this deep committed partnership with you. I feel like, and again, with the lovers, that's three times, you guys. This is 100% a twin flame connection that it, it feels like a realization that this person is realizing that you are their other half, that you are the one for them, where... I feel like, look at these two cards. I just want to show you. This person felt chained and bonded, maybe obsessed or addicted um, or envious or greedy or something like that, but never willing to let go of the connection. And here now there's a freedom to choose to hold hands, you know, whereas two people might have just been bound together in an unhealthy relationship. It's like, magically changing into a healthier the, the growth i feel like somebody needed to end something in order for growth to happen it's kind of like it's kind of like when you um yeah this is exactly what it is i'm just seeing someone who's trimming the flowers or trimming the leaves off the flower to induce new growth okay um somebody needed to cut away the dead energy in order to have new growth take its place. And that's what I feel like this energy is happening here. Wow. Okay, Gemini, Capricorn, Scorpio, uh, there's Air, um, Libra, Aquarius. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Wow, Virgo, crazy times you're living in here. Okay, Eight of Cups. So... This person's con like, so if this is the person that you're connecting with, why is my Siri? What is Siri doing? Siri trying to say something? Siri is here um, recording everything I say. Hold on. I'm going to stop Siri from talking and doing that. Okay. So I feel like um, somebody is going after that, that Ace of Cups here with you, that Ninth Cup, that wish fulfillment. If this is your person... Uh, somebody is coming for you um, and it's one of the signs that's all I'm going to say so if that's not your past person then okay maybe it's not your reading because this is but it's whoever you feel your twin flame is okay and they just gave me fire energy right when I said whoever you feel I think spirit or universe was thinking I was asking a question and they gave me the king of wands so for some of you this is definitely going to be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, it could be an emperor someone with Mars uh, the Mars planet ruling Mars planet okay um, and this person sits in the upright position where they are quite confident, they're quiet, a quiet leader when it when it comes to taking action. So this person, I don't see them saying what they're going to do. I just see them quietly doing it. 
right? Um, this person thinks first before they act, but when they act, like they're on fire, right? It's like, vroom, like a vacuum, okay? Um, so I feel like somebody, uh, I guess it's who you're dealing with, male or female, there's, or will be dealing with, or meeting a twin flame after ending a relationship in the past that you are now kind of like well maybe that wasn't my twin flame maybe that was a karmic connection you know so for those of you you know who are unsure you're still trying to decide um you've got somebody new your twin flame coming in okay who's on this journey could be traveling the eight of cups um coming towards you and for others you know it's if you know that past person was your twin flame and you guys are going through something something need to end you need to trim the flowers or the leaves to induce new growth then this is what the message is here for you um let's take a look and see what else is going on okay travel somebody's getting a new car buying you a new car the chariot cancer energy somebody's coming for you somebody's coming your way virgo getting on a plane getting in the car uh getting on a train maybe they're hitchhiking or um packing their bags and walking i don't know <laughs> But yeah, definitely coming towards you. This person knows what they want. And again, just like what I said in the beginning, the twin flame. Let me get my card here so I can show you. I like to show you guys. This twin flames card um, says yin yang. Can you see it? Okay, it says yin yang in there. You probably can't see it. Well, look at the sphinxes, black and white. That's a yin yang, each taking turns. This person's coming in with the in the white here standing up the, in their yang energy which means they are assertive and they're taking they're making moves this is extroversion uh, where somebody might be more introverted or this person was introverted at the time now they're being more extroverted okay and coming towards you taking some action here towards you let's see what else the energy is what is this person um obviously like okay what are their intentions here? What is this person going to be doing? Like they're definitely coming towards you. And I do see that they're aware that you are the love of their life and you are the one, you know, you are the person for them um, where maybe there was, like I said, an unhealthy toxic bond. It's uh, this person wants it to be healthy. That Knight of Swords energy is like coming in with a fierce, it's like charge coming towards you pretty damn quick ready to make a lifestyle change or change or relocate or um just change something about the relationship to to improve it all right what is this person they're coming in what are they intending to do here with virgo oh forgive this person feels abandoned uh somebody here feels unloved and abandoned they don't like the way that feels they feel lost um, somebody feels lost, remorseful. Um, there might be an element of regret. They feel unloved. They, they, it feels like they're coming in to recover, you know, um, to get over this feeling of loss. What else are their intentions? So, yeah, I guess in a way that kind of, it could sound a bit selfish because it's like they're coming back because they're missing you um, a lot. But also part of it has to do with like, they don't like the way they're feeling. Um, without you it depends on how you're, you you want to look at that if it's selfish you know I mean let's let's be real here you know people don't generally come back into relationships because of how the other person feels it's usually because they how they feel and if they want to be in it they come back and if they don't they don't come back you know so uh, I mean I guess we all have like we all have our um, our MO when it comes to what we want and we should in, to some degree we don't want to go back to a relationship we don't want to go back to just because the other person wants it because then that's clingy and people pleasing and codependency so in so in a lot of ways i feel like this person is tremendously sad without you and they're taking it's almost like i feel like this person is plotting out their course and how to get to you they're looking at their directions they're looking maybe to find out where you are or where you live or if you've left or where you're working somehow some way to, what is this person's what else are their intentions here okay the five of swords this person is 100 percent like they feel heartbroken um this person i feel like they 
may have broken your heart and there is an element of like feeling sad but also i feel like this person's intentions are to get rid of anyone uh if they were involved with others or had relationships with other people they just weren't taking the relationship serious it feels like you see how he stands there with those three swords he's like shutting other people out um and then, you know, those people are looking back like, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to be with me? And this person's like, yes, 100%. It's nothing personal. It's just that I know where my heart belongs. That's the energy here. And other people are like, okay, adios. Good luck with that person you want to be with. Let's see. Okay. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, so that's actually good because... If that had showed up in the upright, I would have felt like, whoa, whoa, we ended this relationship and now you're coming back in like with this crazy eight of wands up in the air, like boom, 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 nonstop. So the eight of wands in the reverse is kind of, this person's going to, they're not going to try to sell you <laughs> anything. Like it's something that they want to try to convince you. I feel it's more along the lines of like um, somebody's coming in with, um, oh, I just said they had somebody had travel trouble in the past. Okay, maybe something ended because there was travel trouble and it just, I don't know, something couldn't move forward. Um, the Eight of Wands in the reverse feels like um, there was something to do with a delay. Um, wait, what else is this person? What else are their intentions? Okay. Oh, healing. Four of Swords reversed. Somebody here wants to have be in a, a better healing. This person's very restless. They feel very restless without you, Virgo. Or you feel that way, or maybe you both feel that way about each other. Um, there's a lack of peace. And this person, or uh, somebody here, it feels like um, they're, they're ready to act taking action but they don't want to i don't i feel like they don't want to oh, bombard you too much okay they don't want to bombard you with too much of their passion because they don't want to smother you with their passion um because they somebody i feel like they're restless about that they have a lot of anxiety about that because it's not in their nature to be that way um when this person is passionate or falls in love or you know then they just want to like be a a strip of gasoline that's lit on fire they just want to take off and i feel like this person's really fearful that if they do that that you're going to reject them or they're going to hit a brick wall i just heard all right i just need to give the cards a shuffle so okay so their intentions are definitely to come in and you know uh, try to get things back on track i do feel like the person will try to come in with that friendship energy but it's done so as not to scare you off because they're trying to i see somebody's trying to make that connection again they're not i don't feel like this person is going to come in and just lay i don't feel like this person is like that or uh maybe in with you they might be like that with others but i don't feel like they feel is the best thing is to just come at you and just you know completely rip their heart out and just give it to you uh adds too much of a risk for this person and if you had a history with them and something ended they don't want to hit that brick wall but it feels i wouldn't be surprised if the fool card shows up here okay the death card so um then we have that scorpio energy again so rebirth and transformation this is transitioning to you know um having hope again uh no more th so there was an energy of being stuck and i feel like this person is trying to reconnect this situation that somebody is in here they feel stuck um some of you that you may feel or they feel that there's some unfinished business here this person they know in their heart of hearts that you guys are the twin soul twin flame energy i feel like they felt like no this was just a chaotic relationship and it's unhealthy and it may have felt that way but it was meant to uh, two people were meant to come together 
um, to induce growth in one another, okay? And somebody may have, whether you or that person, given up on the relationship because it felt too toxic, but it's like, I don't know if exactly who it is, but I feel like it's both of you are like, yeah, this, this is twin flame. We needed healing, needed a lot of healing. And maybe for some of you, it needed to come to terms. You needed to, somebody needed to get to a place where they needed to do the cutoff so new leaves can grow. I just feel like that's, that's the energy here. So this person is looking out toward, uh, towards the future with you. They're seeing a future with you here. Mm, oh my goodness ready to make plans this person is thinking big they may have thought small or there was no ability to think or to make plans because maybe there were too many obstacles this person's in like making a decision about this partnership it could so we have the world card here um, so this could be travel or a long distance relationship for some of you. For others, this is just like communicating over the internet, okay? Um, like the World Wide Web. Somebody might live in uh, South America, they just said. Somebody may live, somebody may be in South America or be from there or is traveling there, or is coming from there. Could also be, I'm picking up um, the continent um, of Africa. Africa? I don't know exactly where. The continent, continent, okay. Okay, Tower, God, that's three Scorpio cards. What the heck? Um, so the tower is here. Wow. <laughs> this is a major wake up call happening here for somebody. Um, whereas in the past, I feel like there was um, a fear of change. Somebody had a fear of change, just a great fear of being out of the comfort zone, had a great fear of um, feeling of loss, or is having a fear of loss, or is feeling a fear of is feeling that fear that there's a loss of some sort. They don't like the way it's feeling. Um, they're feeling like the world is crumbling down, that things are falling apart, that they're, they're feeling a bit destructive or that, you know, everything in their life, it, it just feels like a, like a lightning bolt. This is like a lightning bolt out of nowhere, like boom, and, and it's blowing off the crown chakra. So it's like getting in. Somebody might have had like, it might have been considered very stubborn or just very stuck in their ways. And this is an energy of like... <laughs> crashing through the skull you know what i mean um this can also be yep somebody's got like um okay i'm just going to use this term because this is what we do here right somebody's how can i say this in a, a way well i'm just going to say it somebody's got a heart on for you and you might have it for them as well <laughs> and it doesn't have to be sexual, but it can be with this tower card <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness uh inspired to have this like cup overfloweth like it, all right so for some of you there's very very incredible sexual attraction happening here okay or somebody's feeling those vibrations it's such a good vibration somebody's feeling it big time you know it's like okay go ahead and do the deed in here put it in a cup i'll drink it that's disgusting all right let's see i don't know if somebody's got a fetish what the hell why do these messages come out for me is it me or do i have like a really kooky crazy uh sex incubus somewhere here or succubus or something all right let's see what else is going on what virgo what okay so you're gonna get a sweet text message maybe an apology um somebody's coming in uh maybe send you a selfie some this is directly to you um it's a very okay valentine's day february 14th or around there this is a very sweet um innocent kind of message um it may seem like an immature message in other words like it's not an adult kind of thing <laughs> or it may be coming from someone who is youthful 
I want to say. I don't want to say immature um, because then there's a negative connotation taken with that. It feels more like someone who is maybe younger than you or is just youthful in their ways or just very youthful looking, okay? Um, and there may be, I just feel like, a picture um, that you see of someone and or they see of you and there's an energy remember these could be reversed and there's an energy of somebody looks all right they just gave me like somebody's very pretty somebody or somebody thinks someone is very very pretty or youthful or sweet or just so uh, uh just very pretty like uniquely pretty is what i hear i'm seeing somebody with like reddish brown hair or um light brown hair okay oh yeah look so this person somebody all right, I, all right i'm just gonna say it somebody here feels like this opportunity is going to come around again and somebody is not willing to give up um i feel now is it you maybe uh not wanting to give up um or some but just i feel like this person this person maybe there was an opportunity that was missed again or before and they want to present that opportunity they, they see that there's going to be an opportunity to get it right this time they're very hopeful that there's going to be an opportunity to get something right this time and that's them now for some of you it could be you as well but you'll have to see how that plays out i want to get i want to post some messages of love What is the messages of love for Virgo? What is the mess? What does the divine want Virgo to know? What are the love messages about this other person, this twin flame? Oh, okay. Playing hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Seems to be like, hey, I just heard the Joker, um, Heath Ledger. Why so serious? Why so serious? You know? um play hard laugh finding time i feel like this is really important and that's the message for you if you're going to get back in this connection as long as it's like healthy okay if it's still not healthy then no play hard to get and get the fuck out um so play hard is like if it's good enjoy each other's company if if you and this person is feeling that it's good but be patient Somebody just got this in a personal reading. Be patient. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Now, now remember, this reading is not for all of you. Be mindful. It's general, okay? But if you feel like it's resonating with you, that's great. But if you've had a personal reading with me and a personal reading came out where um, somebody was a liar or a cheater and um, they went with somebody else, this this you know, this may not be for you, but it could be because then that person could be having a wake up call, which we do feel like is happening here. Like you are there, you are their one love. You are somebody's only true love. And if there was a breakup or a divorce, which we see with the coffin here or an argument or somebody like, I feel like there's a regret for making some bad choices. And I feel like somebody um, can't let you go. And somebody does not want something to be over. Now, I know a lot of you have just put the final nail in that coffin um, because you had to. And some of you may have completely walked away. Others of you may be walking away. And then as you're getting some distance and you're healing and you're growing, the fog is starting to settle and the smoke is starting to clear. And it's like, wow now my emotions are at bay and now i can think about this thing logically like what was this what you know you would be surprised sometimes like i always believe in don't believe in absolutes i don't believe in absolutes ever i don't because i'm a mutable sign and virgo so are you and if you have virgo and venus or wherever virgos are mutable virgos are adaptable and change virgos are probably it may seem like virgos are sticklers but I don't know about you guys, but I'm not. And I, I feel like things tend to change once there's distance and there's time because it's just life. 
life is permeable life is always changing that's the constant thing you know and um i don't know why i'm going off on that diatribe but um patience virgo everything will unfold the way it's meant to be if and if you know what it feels like it's like if it's meant to be it will be for you and there's anything you can do to stop it and if it's not meant for you there's nothing you can do to make it happen right so patience relax breathe right what else healing old wounds and childhood issues are being revisited and that's what maybe that coffin that last nail in the coffin is what needed to happen so that you could get your healing and somebody else could to have that wow this is true love this love is emotional physical and unconditional this person feels yeah you know, i feel like what they're going they might think you're playing hard to get which you're not you're being just very patient for some of you um this person's being patient waiting for that opportunity that divine timing waiting for the the uh the red light to turn green to make their move um i do feel like this person's been healing definitely because it's a twin flame in separation and i do feel like this person feels like you are their true love they i mean they have unconditional love for you and physical love like they want to touch you they want to kiss you they want to hug you they want to cuddle they want to be near you they have just a very deep emotional feeling for you right which is lovely okay see spiritual lesson that you both this person you have taught them some kind of spiritual lesson and this is also what they're coming to terms with this is what they're they're realizing about this connection see this connection was difficult this connection was tremendously difficult and it feels like this person has learned a great deal about um oh so when we say spiritual i'm talking about forgiveness i'm talking about um empathy i'm talking about um acceptance understanding they're coming to this place where the love is unconditional that's what that's what you taught this person that love between two people ought to be unconditional love where we accept each other fully no matter our flaws and our quirks and our misgivings and and all that and i feel like this is what they're coming to terms with it's something that they've learned and and it's like wow the love they're like coming to terms with wow that's what the lovers is vulnerability uh unconditional love acceptance um two people who are only good they're at their best when they're together and they're at the worst when they're separated and this is what they're 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 realizing it's pretty profound okay this person um wants to lean on you you're they want your support you gave them great support in however you were with them and um they definitely see that you were a very supportive loving partner um at the best that you could be right okay um soulmate okay see i feel like you guys are and that's why i say twin soul so i feel like the twin flame aspect of this relationship induced a lot of growth it is inducing a lot of growth but remember we had the friends card there so there's something about your connection where even though there's lessons learned and love and growth between the two of you i feel like there's also the soulmate recognition as well like wow you're not only my lover but you're like my best friend that's how this person feels about you that you are the only person that they've ever had in their life that they've ever met or that they've ever known that they could somehow find a way to be open and vulnerable with you to some degree now maybe even more so they're experiencing for some that they need to keep that going in order to keep something going with you because i do feel like some of you put that final you drove that final nail into the coffin so this person they recognize that you love ex accept them and respect them unconditionally despite what they've done it doesn't mean you're taking their shit anymore but it does mean that um they're recognizing that you were a real one why does this feel like the same message as before there's obstacles okay obstacles to overcome and they see that there are obstacles some of it might have been unhealed wounds within them that kept them from moving forward and i feel like they're taking a look at that now 
Uh, for some, it could have just been obstacles as in general every day um, that needed to be overcome. This person is completely obsessed with you and they're like accepting that right now. And there you go, twin flame. It's all over. I mean, usually you guys see when I pull these cards, it doesn't always come out this way. I mean, but this is a divine uh, counterpart connection. And I, I definitely feel like this person is accepting that the connection that you both had happened for a reason and mostly they're turning um their head towards the fact that it was to induce growth and some of you you know sometimes leaving is the only way um for people to um realize what they had i i don't know if that's something that you did on purpose i don't really know that you did because i don't feel like you are vindictive like that virgo um to try to hurt somebody or to just block them i feel like you weren't trying to win you were just trying to take care of yourself and that's like the best position for you to be in virgo that's a really good thing and i feel like you you weren't trying to you weren't trying to hurt anybody you weren't trying to be a winner in anything here you weren't trying to one-up anybody you were just redirecting your energy towards self-care and self-love because you felt like you weren't getting that from what i see here and maybe that's true for some of you but maybe the real truth is that you weren't loving yourself enough right and um you were loving over loving somebody not that i think that that's a bad thing but i feel here's here's how i feel like with this situation like if you have a piece of cake and it's too much sugar in that cake you'll be repelled by it and if you have a piece of cake expecting it to be sweet and it tastes like nothing but too much salt too salty you'd be repelled by that it's that sweet spot right in the middle that has just enough sweetness and just enough saltiness that makes it delicious and i feel like uh, that's how i feel about that <laughs> that's called you know getting the recipe right in love um i, I always I like i always like to say you know uh jesus when i when i look at jesus and i think about him i always feel like he's a very loving ex unconditional loving accepting person but he also came with a sword he didn't jesus didn't always come to bring peace he came to bring a sword uh, to, um, you know, induce change. You know, I'm not saying that you're, you're God or you're Jesus, but I'm just saying, like, uh, Jesus was not a doormat, <laughs> but he also wasn't, like, a, a, a crusader and killing people all the time. You know what I mean? Like, he was trying to heal and help. And you kind of remind me of that energy a little bit here, Virgo, where you were giving and trying to trying to bring spirituality and healing into some kind of relationship of some sort but some of you like you knew when, where to draw a line and some of you just said i can't i can't keep doing they gotta walk the walk um i can't walk it for them i can't walk and 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 people um who get in that healthy state of mind they allow people the opportunity to grow and change and be independent and do what's best for them it's a good place to be and i feel like that's where you're at and i feel like even if you decide or you two don't reconcile and you don't come back together, this person's never going to forget you and you're never going to forget them because it had a huge effect on both of your lives. You know, and if, and if there wasn't, if you still don't have clarity about that yet, um, you just need a little more time and that distance to come to terms with things. Let's get into your names and look here's the lovers again now this is you guys five times we have the twin flame five times oh my god oh my god i can't even believe it i just cannot i just can't even believe that this is five times the twin flame has come up okay let's get into your message rp rest in peace just like the coffin some of you definitely RP'd this thing. You ripped this thing. Some of you definitely did, okay? Somebody's initial, there might be the letter P or the letter, letter R. Um, somebody's birthday, like somebody could be a Gemini. There is an energy here. Somebody's name is Victor or Vicky or Victoria. Um, or there's a VIC somewhere in somebody's name. Okay. 
Hmm. 1965, they're telling me. A letter S. Um, they just said, uh, they just gave me V as in Victor, J, VJ, VJ, or is it Video Jockey, VJ, um, somebody likes to play poker, okay, somebody likes to play poker, play card games, somebody lives near an apple tree farm, or where they, you know, I don't know, is an apple tree farm a thing, or apples on trees, I just see apples on trees, oh, and then I just I just saw that kids game with the pick a cherry or cherry picking or apple picking. It's hi ho cherry -o or something weird. Or maybe you're eating cherries. You like cherries? I don't know. Or your name's Cherry. <laughs> Are you like apples? Do you like apple? Hey, you like apples? Apple a day keeps doctor away. Um, health, health, health. Let's see what else. Why is that upside down? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Somebody's last name is Vu. V U. V U. Vu. Okay. Um, S V U unit. And I also heard. Is that a TV show? The S V U unit or something? Um, okay. September 5th. Picking up September 5th. I'm also picking up a Taurus around the birthday May 9th. Taurus. Oh, did you have a tornado somewhere near where you live? Or uh, there's a or a tornado predicted to come your way with some storms or a lot of tornadoes or maybe somebody lives in an area where there's a lot of tornadoes tornadoes okay Let's see oh i just heard the name raziri r i z z i e r i raziri okay They just gave me the song, okay, from the Beatles, Let It Be. Um, no, there may be times of trouble. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. Okay, they just gave me that song. How beautiful. I don't know if that was somebody's favorite song, Let It Be by the Beatles. Um, if that's somebody that's passed on, you know, they're uh, sending you that message to give you comfort. Um, or if it's just something that resonates for you, if you're seeking comfort, play that song I'm hearing. Though I find myself in trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. I love that song. Please forgive me for singing. I'm just like, I love that song. Um, it's very pretty. Self-discovery. Okay. September 9th. Okay. All right. So I don't know if somebody lives near a place where there are, how can I say this? Um, rocks, boulders, one on top of the other, like in a tower. Okay. Rocks or boulders, one on top of the other in a tower. All right, let me see. Okay, somebody calls somebody Ken Ken or Kim Kim. And you're also, if you, all right, I just heard two knocks at a door. I heard two knocks at a door. Either you're hearing that or you're going to get somebody's going to knock twice on your door um, bringing you either a package or sending you a love gift of some sort um, or asking you for directions maybe knock on a window car window 
Two knocks. Asking for directions could be. Um, also, um, not somebody knocking on the door, asking if you want to go on a date, or maybe knocking on a wall or a desk, or you know, uh, it's just like they knock first. I'm just hearing somebody knocking. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Um, okay, witch hunt. They said they said witch hunt or the witcher. Witch hunt, the witcher. Okay. I'm hearing um hmm. The seventeenth or the eighteenth is a birth date. Also the fifth, the ninth. Okay. Doesn't have to be September. Also the seventh. Let me see. These could be birth dates, it could be significant dates for something. Okay. Um all right, this is cliche, but they're just giving me um Okay, they're giving me uh Yeah, they're they're just showing you this this beautiful though. It's so beautiful. This beautiful black cat. Beautiful. So fluffy and furry with big greenish yellow eyes. And for others it's like, it might be a, some blue in there as well. Beautiful. And somebody uh, decorating a cake or making a wedding cake or does like cake decorating I just heard or making a cake or something or piping icing on a cake okay okay somebody all right the date we have the eighth the eighth uh, they're saying the eighth is all about me the eighth it's all about me I don't know what that means um, mm, oh, okay. Um, somebody, there was fireworks on the 8th. They could have been like literal or figuratively. Fireworks on the 8th. Somebody may have gotten pregnant on the 8th or felt like there was a huge possibility or will a huge possibility of that on the ace or get somebody pregnant i'm also hearing army i'm hearing the word army okay army army let me see what else these are my favorite this is my favorite aspect of the readings is picking up these energies um oh okay artemis too i just heard artemis and um Arnie, RT, RG, RT, Artie, Arn, Arnie, Artie, Arthur, Archibald. Okay. Um, so something happened over this weekend to somebody. Um, something significant happened over the weekend. Um, and I'm also, they're also giving me, um, okay, they're saying either it was something also either Tuesday or, or on a Thursday was a significant day or a profound day for someone, a Tuesday or a Thursday. Okay. Um, March, I'm getting the word March. I gotta get to the charms, okay. And now we have, um, so, all right, they're giving me area codes, 810, 810, 
seven five nine okay eight one oh and seven five nine all right they're saying get a couple more i don't know why i know some of you aren't in the u.s but i'm just getting maybe those numbers are relevant to you besides maybe it's an address eight one zero and seven five nine you could switch them up just those digits okay Okay. I'm pulling a lot of cards here. Okay, 414. I don't know if those are birth dates, area codes, just specific dates or digits for something. All right, let's get on to your charms. Hi, everybody in the chat. I hope you're doing well. If you want to join my channel, please remember access your desktop. Go to my channel, click the join button, and then you can check out all the perks that you'll get there in um, when you become a member of my channel. Um, one of them is that if you members only chat, you can ask unlimited questions, you get free readings, personal readings, minis. That's one of the perks. You can also join my Facebook group. There's a link in my community section, but it will be there if you join. All right, you guys. Wait. Oh my goodness, something just fell and that sounded really bad. I don't know what it is. I'll pick it up later because we're not trying to get all crazy here. Get all crazy. Don't forget, you guys, you can um, purchase my um, merchandise here on my channel. It should be below this video. You can get t-shirts. I got the Singles of Pringle, sweatshirts, workout gear. Um, I got, I think I have the colorful poop stain <laughs> for the shit stain. Um, what else do I have? A couple of different cool things. All right, let's get your charms, see what the messages are here for you guys. All right, give it to us. All right, you've got the sun. Somebody's name is Sunny. And we have the cutest little teddy bear. Adorable. Okay, somebody's gonna be getting a teddy bear, giving a teddy bear for Valentine's Day. Oh, the key with the white heart. Okay, definitely getting a key. Hmm, I'm feeling Leo energy. I'm also picking up a sundial. Hmm, maybe somebody's like a bear. Something about bear bear somebody's teddy bear call somebody a teddy bear or want the teddy bear cuddles and hugs bear oh well isn't that a cute kawaii cat okay this is um cat with a very long neck and a very long tail this looks like a children's cat like a cartoon cat what the Oh, wow. Okay. I love that. A granite or onyx flower or stone. Platinum. Whoa. With a diamond. Platinum, maybe. I just see it's the color of like granite or it's like a light gray onyx type or it's platinum with a diamond. Um, hmm. Somebody's cat might be called diamond or onyx. She's like, oh my God, that's my cat's name. <laughs> we had a cat once when I was a kid, uh, a black cat. Never had a black cat again. The cat's name was Sable. Love that name. Okay, we have a horse head. Hmm, somebody might be born in the year of the horse, uh, the year of the cat. I don't believe there's a bear. Um, or somebody's near horses or rides horses or um, drives like a truck. They call it their horse. Okay, let me get another one. Huh. And here's a rocking horse. This feels like daddy horse and baby horse. 
Someone's a father with a little girl, likes pink or is very precious. That's a unicorn, pink unicorn horse. Oh, and you have, I don't even know what the heck that is. That, okay, I, I'm assuming that this is supposed to be like a feather, but no, I'm they, immediately they just gave me like the inside of a muscle uh, shell, like muscles. I just felt like that. Or maybe somebody's got really big muscles or is trying to get some gains, working at the gym, strength training, or is just becoming more muscular. I'm just, but I'm seeing like seafood muscles as well. Maybe somebody likes muscles. You like, you like muscles? Sure. <laughs> you like muscles? Sure. I love muscles. Muscles are sexy. All right, another one. I know we're over an hour here, but I'm just having too much fun. What the hell is this? Oh, of course. I'm so rude. This is a beautiful butterfly. We always get butterflies. Maybe you're, um, they, I just, you just saw an image of like a, a stick of butter. Stick of butter. Some of you need to get to the milk, the eggs, and the bread because I said the other day you got a big snowstorm coming and I just saw a stick of butter. You got to get your butter. Or maybe you're slicing, cutting some, some pats off a stick of butter. I don't know. That's what I, that's just the image that they gave me. All right, and one more and then I'm out of here. Okay, this is going to be a, oh, the infinity symbol. Well, of course. Um, hmm. And then I also saw, I, weird, I just saw a superhero mask, like a, like an eye mask. Maybe you're listening to this while you have like a facial mask on or something. Um, or one of those sleepy masks that protect your eyes. But infinity, um, also the number eight significant for someone infinity um could be a vehicle um and there's also an energy of what comes around goes around reconciliation of course there could be you know does that mean you should i don't know that's up to you but the energy definitely i feel like is playing out here um so i'm gonna leave your reading there i don't think i missed any charms i think i got them all again um join my channel go to your desktop click join look at the perks, join the Facebook group, show up for the member chat, um, and do hit like on the video on your way out, please. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We'd love to have you join in on the chat. You see everybody here is super friendly and awesome and loving, and, and we're a good team and a good group, and you're 100% welcome. All right, you guys, love you. I will see you all later. Okay, bye.